hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Cena Bound Live, uh, the Cena Bound special. What we do now, uh, we, it's a show we recently started. Uh, you would have seen one recently with uh, Danielle Brown, but I'm joined now with Danielle Holmes of Black Nova Design. And the whole point of this interview is to get a, a better understanding of how Cena Bound's customers are seeing Cena Bound's as a business, as a network, and as a brand. Um, so you, the, the, the promise with this, Danielle, right, yeah. this interview, yeah. it's only 10 minutes. I can only take that much um, slip in. <laughs> but the, the promise of this is I want you to be brutal, right? Okay. Um, and we put it out there to the ethos. I don't edit it, yeah. all right? I don't change it. Uh, it's about being brutally honest. Yeah. But it's about getting a really good understanding of what Cena Bounds is as a brand and as a company, right? Yeah. We've got certain things that we um, base ourselves on, mm -hmm. um, and obviously that's where you come in as a customer, right? So yeah. tell us a little bit about your experience. How long have you been a, a member of Cena Bounds now? Six months? Oh, no, what? Two years? Yeah, but you were, you, were, you were a member and then you became a... Networker. A networker. Yeah, of course, right, okay. Yeah. So, right, let's talk a little bit about that. So you've been a client of ours now for a while, Yeah. all right? In two different aspects with yeah. the network and stuff you've been for six months yeah so let's go early days then, right yeah before transition right how have you found your time with senior well before becoming the networker yeah um i didn't make most of it um i didn't i knew the value in it which is why i signed up yeah um but but the value it loses value if you don't actually become more involved you know, good, so yeah, so point. that for me, like although I was paying, I I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't submitting blogs. I wasn't I wasn't doing anything. Yeah. So so really, the value for me had nothing to do with what you were offering. I I just didn't get involved. So I was paying for something that then I didn't really know what I was getting for. Or it's why. like it's like having the most powerful um, sports car parked in your driveway, right? Like you're I'm not, not having you're it. Not insured. Using it, yeah. If you're not using it, you're yeah. not, not going to get the benefit of that. Yeah. Really good tip, that actually, mm -hmm. um, and I think for any of our customers listening in, I think that's probably one of the top tips. Like, if you're gonna yeah. if you're gonna pay for something, use yeah. it. If you're not gonna use it, don't pay for it. Yeah. And I'm a big believer in that. Yeah. I really am. Like, yeah. I I actually feel for my clients that are members of our platform and then they don't use it, and I'm like, yeah. come on, guys. Like, if you used it more, I know you get so much more value out yeah. of it. So that's a really good tip, and I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, since networker, since networker, um, I made a more of a conscious decision to make more of it. Um, I met you guys more often, um, which I think for me feels much more like I want to be involved more oh, Okay, yeah, because cool. I get to meet you, because I get to go on the walks, because I get to see you at not just senior bounds events, but other events as well. Yeah. Um, it makes me feel like actually, yeah, actually it's going to be a really great place to be. Um, and, and whether I miss a few or whether I come back to one, it's always the same friendly environment. It's not like, oh, look, she's back. Where does she go? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It, it's a really nice friendly environment. And so I'm quite a busy person. <laughs> I run two businesses. I'm a mum. I've got two kids. I've got, you know, all of those things. So sometimes. And I've got Kyle. And, I, and I've got a husband. Yeah. 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 I mean, you haven't you got know. any husband. You've got Kyle. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah. It takes a lot of my time. <laughs> Um, so life does get in the way sometimes. Yeah. And so, you know, you'll sign up to a networking event, be it on Zoom, you know, and then you'll forget. Um, and one of the things I do love most about Cino Bounds is Charlotte's reminders. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah. I know, like, and she's messaged me a couple of times being like, I'm so sorry, am I bugging you? Am I annoying you? And I'm like, no, I need it. Because even if I don't turn up, I've appreciated that she's there, she's thinking of me, because it makes you feel like you're part of something part of a community yeah i mean she could be using ai for all i know for those messages no no she genuinely <laughs> she sits there and sends out like 200 emails I've, I've known her sitting for now and send out 400 emails yeah yeah like hi don't forget hi don't forget yeah. hi, don't... i'm like jesus god yeah and then she uh, comes out she's like them. email zoomed out you know yeah um okay so i'm gonna this is the this is where the controversial question comes in right yeah what are we bad at what are you bad at um i think the meetings are mostly in the morning or up to midday. Yeah. I think there should be more opportunity for afternoon, late afternoon, or even the occasional evening. Okay. In On Zoom, not necessarily. Although in-person is great. I love in-person. And I think there's a lot of value for in-person. Yeah. Um, 
but I'm not that local to you to try and do a, an in-person all of the time. Whereas, no, that's, you know, that's true. Um, we are actually launching London and those um, in-person ones will be in the evening. All right, but we're still too far from London. Um, yeah. We do the global, which is in the afternoon, but of yeah. course that's not local. Yeah. So there's, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah. Things. So yeah, I think there there is room. I yeah. really do think there is room for that. Yeah. Uh, and actually, what I'd probably do if I went, if we were going to go down that road and certainly discuss about it is to find hosts that want to host in the evening. Yeah. And I think that's what we need to do with that. Yeah. So great tip. Um, thank you. What do we do? Well. What is our, if you, if someone is going to go, what is Cena Bounds' strong point? What would you say that? Uh, I don't think there's just one. Oh, okay. I think there's quite a few. I think Charlotte's communication is great. It's all about Charlotte. What um, do you mean? Like, I'm, well, I'm going to hang on time. a minute. Yeah. Hang on. Um, the website, I love being able to upload the blogs. Yeah. And, and the vlogs and the videos and the, the interesting stuff you said. I thought interesting it was fun stuff. stuff. But it is fun though. Um, but it's not just that, you know, everyone is actually using it. Yeah. It's such hard work to try and get members of anything to use the functionality that you've provided for, for free. Well, you know, as part of your membership. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, yeah. And so I love it. It's and an add-on, really. Yeah. You create it as an add-on. Um, and, I, and I do publish these things. Um, and they are sometimes, they're copy and pasted from my own website. Sometimes I've made them specifically. Um, but once I've made them and submitted them, I'm like, well, look. With somebody else's, I'm going to read that. Oh, yeah. look, with somebody else's. And so I love that functionality, and it's so easy. And actually, what's the, so one of the things that we do, and not many people know this, so this is probably a good time to talk about it, is actually sometimes I will take the blog that you've written, yeah. and then I will put it into a LinkedIn article with oh, okay. references back. Yeah. So when you put the blogs up, you can put links on and all that yeah. sort of stuff. And then sometimes I'll take those blogs, put it onto, the, onto LinkedIn, and I'll actually go, Danielle Holmes, uh, posted this recently on the Cena Barnes platform, have a little read and then copy those people in yeah. as a post. So it actually goes out. So we actually utilize that content then for other content to go out. So people are still okay. reading it. Yeah. So it is something that we do yeah, uh, yeah. or something I do. Yeah. Um, no. Okay. You do that and you do that really well. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> um, okay. So if we were to change anything, so if you said to write, I would like to see one thing change. I think the networking yeah. um, query is really good. Yeah. I'm really happy with that. So, if you were going to say, right, you need, I think you need to change this, or I would like to see this be added to Cena Bounds in one way, or shape, or form, what would it be, if anything? Um, maybe some more Cena Bounds in person events, like county specific. Yeah, uh, that's so, really interesting. You're the second person that said that actually. That, yeah. So, we've only had two of these shows so far. Yeah. And that's exactly what Danielle Brown said. Yeah. Said, I'd like to see more in-person events yeah it's really interesting it's really hard because you have such a vast vast sort of area to cover of, of location people yeah. member you know there's a lot so you'd never be able to include everyone in one event so maybe you do it like southwest one month and then so what we do month. what we're doing now so we've got swind because we're near swindon here yeah so we've got swindon coming out soon Okay. Um, and I'll be in. Swindon's running, but yes. Yvonne Parker. Yes. And we are doing a, a face-to-face event. Oh, okay. Um, for that, and we're doing it. What we want to do with the in-person events is we want to run them quarterly, so they'll be four yeah. a year. Yeah. Right? Because I think in-person events can almost become time expensive. Hundred percent. Yeah. Where one of the things that we want to create is a fast and quick process. But yeah. with our in-person events, we don't do the 60 seconds, the presentations and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Well, we don't do the presentation, we don't do the six seconds. Mm -hmm. um, but what, instead of having the four one-to-ones like you do, yeah. it is just one big one-to-one. -one. So you just rock up, you buy coffee, we don't yeah. do breakfast and all the palaver no, no, that you do. No. It's yeah. just really a get together. You can bring your laptops and work. And what we found with the recent events that we ran is people were going off into little corners, yeah. having a chat for 10 minutes and coming back into the main into yeah. the room. Yeah. And they were doing the one-to-ones naturally with yes. our, our integration, yes. uh, which was brilliant. Yes. So they're doing their meetings online, but then the face-to-face -face is really more about, oh, my God, you are six foot seven. You know, yeah. Well, she's not yeah, yeah, um, no, I'm But not, you no. get the point. So, yeah, yeah hopefully. Yeah. And the people that you start to meet, you know, twice a month on the, the Swindon one, for example, online, you just, I think the connection is just embedded a little more when you see someone in person what we want to do with the three court with the um quarterly meetups is we want people to go oh, at the next meet face to face let's grab a prop one to one yes let's grab a coffee and so that it becomes a thing so we only use local pubs yeah uh, i think in swindon we're using the sun in 
Okay. Um, and we only want to use local pubs because they're not running at that time. So it's yeah. bringing business into yeah. a, a facility that is not necessarily earning at that yeah. time, uh, which is very much what we want to do. But then we want people to go, oh, I tell you what, should we grab lunch at the next mm -hmm. place? Mm. Let's have lunch. So it's bringing more business into that local yeah. facility. That's how we want it to, to yeah. happen. Yeah, I so. could see that. I could see that working. So it's well. coming. Yeah, it is coming. Okay. So great, great okay. thing. Um, anything else? Have you got any other comments that you would like to make? Uh, and bear in mind, these aren't rehearsed, right? Like no. I've dragged you <laughs> in on this, right? Um, but that's how we want it to do. We want yeah. it to be raw. So if you've got any other comments that you'd like to make in regards to seeing if I was good or bad, um, sack me is not an option. I come with the bus. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, no, I think I think what you've come up with on the sixth of October for the men's only. I think that's been a long time coming for someone to do. Yeah. I think that's amazing. Thank you. Um, yeah. John uh, John Lewis is running that yeah. with us, uh, and he's an incredible guy. Yeah. So it's really been needed for a while, and when I saw it, I thought, wow, yes, that's needed. So that's that's a good a good point. Just got to get Kyle on it now. Yeah. Yeah. We'll book him on. Okay. Go yeah. On. Yeah. We'll book him on. Um, I can't think of anything else. Off the top of my head, because again, not rehearsed, so no, off the top of my head, I can't I, think of anything else. I do want to thank you, and I want to yeah. thank you for being honest, and I want to thank you for being put on the spot. It's <laughs> never easy to be interrogated no. like that, but, yeah, but that's how I want the show yeah. to be. This, that, that's why I'm doing this because I want Cena Bounce to be a member of it. Um, yeah. and I think I, I think we're the only company that's doing it. Yeah, we're actually saying, Tell us what we do, bad, yeah, and um, so that we can approve it. It's great what we do, right? I love that, yeah. but yeah. I'm more interested personally, I'm interested in what I'm not doing so well, yeah, so that I can get it better. Yeah. Um, so thank you yeah. so much for your insight uh, and for just for helping us out as, as an organisation. Yeah. But more to the point, thank you for being a fantastic member. We love having black members. No problem. And until next time, when I get interrogate another member, uh, or I let them interrogate me, it depends how the show goes. Yeah. But I hope you like that little bit of an insight. Like I said, it is true. It is honest. It's not rehearsed. Um, but thank you so much. And we'll see you soon. Take care. Goodbye.